Hey guys, what's up? It's me. Um, I was planning to like do some kind of tour of my ship. Uh, I think that would be uh, would be cool. So I'm a said I'm a Jedi sage, and um, if you first enter your ship, then this is what you see with me. Um, I believe this is one of the biggest ships actually, because I've seen uh, from some friends of their videos and um, their ship is actually not that big uh, so this room is actually um, if you completed one a major quest I always need to go talk here to the uh, holo terminal but of course there's nothing here now and if I need to make an audience to uh, everybody to say something then yeah the intercom I need to use it then um, Normally there is no one here on these chairs, but uh, sometimes if you see a cutscene then I stand here most of the time and then somebody talks to me. So yeah, um, where did I come from? Here. So this is the just a cargo hold where, oh my god there's a lot of stuff in. I have a champion container that is still in here oh yeah this was a wrong buy <laughs> that's kinda dumb there's some junk in here some stuff I made need to sort it out so the cargo hold then Master, I've marked the best escape pod for yeah. your soul my wheels. idiot I of course will go down with this my ship. idiot companion I really never use him then Nadia Grell is here. She's um, the companion you that you get first as a guest in the Jedi Sage, um, in the Jedi Sage lore, or how shall I say it? And she is also a Jedi, uh, Force sensitive to be exactly, actually. So, um, and this is the companion that actually does the most uh, DPS, but she's not really a tanky, a tanky companion. So. I don't really use her often in only b if there is a tank um, in a party or something for help to DPS. And this is the very first companion that you get and that you will probably use the most if you're at Sage. This is a uh, Cousin Fess and he's a tank. He's a, a really good companion, really good. And I believe he's in charge of my engines, but uh, <laughs> I don't really trust him because I can't understand him. Oh yeah, this guy you get at um, the level 20 somewhere in Nar if, if I'm not, if I'm correct. It's Terence Cedrax, and you also get like a sort of holographic girl with it. Um, yeah, I actually wonder what this is. It looks like something to make to make carpets or something. I don't know, or to dance on. Okay, anyway. So I had these guys. Then I go up, up, up. Oh yeah, this is the room where you will uh, meet the Rift Alliance. They uh, will help you to fight the uh, the Empire. So this is another guy. I've never used him before. He's kind of crap. He carries a big gun, but that's all. Um, what's this room? Oh yeah, if you die, like uh, actually you you almost almost never come here. But if you die in a uh, in a war zone and you leave, then and you're in your ship, then you will end up here. It's like a med center. So then you have your um, control room, the missions, space missions, which I sometimes do. Then you have the galaxy map here. It's the same with most people, but it, yeah, I just gonna show it because it's another ship. And you have Lieutenant Isaro, which I also never used before. 
So, um, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, um, I will see you next time. And uh, oh yeah, I needed to tell you something. Um, I recently deleted a few videos of my channel because they were uh, copyrighted, and I just wanted to delete them because I want to have a clean channel and no copyright issues with uh, no chance that they can suspend my account or cancel it and um, I don't know maybe for in the future if I get some more views and and comments and stuff like that I maybe can apply for partnership but that's not really on my mind at the moment so uh, yeah I will see you next time and uh, thanks for watching bye